Greetings and salutations guys, welcome, welcome back to another episode of Flatback where we look at old games from the past that happened to mean something to me and to try to figure out is the game still good or should it be left alone in the past and today we are going to go back in time here and look at something that was very dear to my heart and I'm pretty sure dear to a lot of you as well if you grew up in the 90s or I guess early 2000s I guess and of course that game I am talking about today is Tony Hawk Pro Gator which was available over on the PS1 which is the version I'm gonna be playing today we're gonna figure out do the game still holds up or should it be forgotten so like it to it does Tony Hawk Pro Gator live up to our memories. In the lap bit of Dogs of Summer in 1999, a game that was released that changed everything that took advantage of the most hyped moment of Tony Hawk Quill back during the 900 day and when eight games was a peak of action sports and everything around that was in return change because of Tony Hawk and because of the game. Tony Hawk Pro Gator is a very very simple game in retrofit where you have a handful of Gator, a handful of levels and very much broken down into completing one of five missions to collect VHS tapes to just show how old this is because it's not dated just enough. From there you unlock more and more levels and continue on to trying to become a champion at pro gating. So the gameplay itself is pretty much made up of collect the items, get at number of points, find hidden stuff, the gameplay is not the most very thing here and on top of that a lot of the game especially nowadays is a little clunky at least in its objective and how they operate. A lot of the time I bet yourself to replay some of these levels over and over again just to unlock everything since so you pretty much have to do at least 90% of everything if not more just to make it to the end and I bet a very high jump in difficult. Some of the end missions and more and more stuff start getting farther and farther out of the way and even more convoluted it get. Is it still fun to do it? The answer is kinda. The game itself is extremely fun to just mess around in any if it is extremely simple and like I said the mission structure is a little clunky for some of the levels and then with the difficult fight mainly coming in at the tournament since throughout the game you do three individual tournament where you have a minute to do your best best of three goals end up deciding who win honestly the fourth one not so bad the second and the last one is extremely difficult to the point of if you fall or use the same trick over and over again I bet your point to be taken down any farther any if you come in technically third place in the final competition all you really unlock is a video of people falling on their face since with the height of skateboarding culture right along with all the videos of the time period the majority of trying to unlock everything come down to little video parts of dissing and sometimes just straight up cut up version of dissing gate video from all the most popular gator of the time with like Bob Bonquit, Chad Muttet and so on and so on here if you don't get all go in single competition I bet to just be unlocking the same video across the board which in return this is where the replay value come in at with you playing through the game with every character trying to get gold in every competition hopefully seeing the character video in the end which honestly a lot of the videos are not super great since you could tell a lot of it was just taken at random and especially with the videos actually using the music from the game and eh, some of the editing is so so but honestly I guess you know what what you bet from the end of the 90s heel but they are still little great videos especially for the time honestly that is pretty much the majority of unlockables 
Don't get me wrong, you have some other things you can get, such as other decks, other wheels, and trucks. But most of that stuff you get unlocked playing throughout the game itself. And as far as character unlocking, you have a one. You have yourself the lovable cop dick. Which you unlock by collecting every secret tape as a character, which isn't the most difficult thing to do. But one or two might be a little time consuming here. Which Officer Dick is pretty much as you might expect. It's just a overweight cop that out and about skateboarding with all the best of the time. So that is honestly pretty much it. You unlock a extra character, you unlock a handful of deck for each character, and a whole bunch of video for each of the characters. Like I said, the only real downside is it is a little clunky mainly in the objective, but the game itself is still fun. So yeah, for the starting of a franchise as important as Tony Hawk Pro Gator is and was, it's a great fourth step forward, but it does have a lot of little issues that thank goodness got fits in the net game. Tony Hawk Pro Gator 2, which we will probably look at at some point. Yeah, if you end up finding the game, and if you don't already have Pro Gator 2, or you just want to go back in time and relive Tony Hawk, I still kind of recommend it. Any with it, little flaws here and there, but a lot of a lot of the issues are pretty much with growing pains as a whole. I would say Tony Hawk still holds up. Any if, like I said, some of the missions is you know can go to hell and back. Overall, I I approve of Tony Hawk Pro Gator 01 as far as a game that you can go back to and enjoy to the very day. And with that, that begin our journey down so many games that I'm looking forward to looking into and hopefully see how many of them is just gonna be ruined for me just being old. We will see and of course if there is any game from your childhood that you want me to look at to see if it's still good or not, let me know in the comments below here on YouTube or while you're at it and you're down there pushing all the buttons. Make sure you do the like, favorite, subscribe, and all of that jazz, my dudes. And with that, I think I'm going to go outside and probably fall on my face some. That sounds fun, right? I'm too old for this. <laughs> ah.